I'm gonna try and wall tap this. No, it's gonna be. I'm gonna wall tap. Oh. Um, well. Hello, everybody. I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on Beam NG. And if this track looks familiar to you, it's because it's the first track that everybody usually drifts on in a set of Corsa, the Drift Factory Drift Tracks. But it's here in Beam. We have a 180SX. Not sure why the lights are on, but. I think it's just a mod thing, but we're going to go drifting. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll try in the description box below. Let's get to it. So I feel like this is the course that everybody first starts drifting in instead of course because it's the only drift course really allowed on in console. But we're here in Beam and G with a 180, and we're going to go full send. And already, oh, this car is actually really good. So this is like the typical line that everybody runs. Oh no, I mean, we knew that was gonna happen. This is just Beam and G, so that's bound to happen. Little wall taps, and we got kind of a drift miss, but we're gonna keep going. Oh, we broke the gearbox. So I've been getting back more into Beam and G content. Um, with the new graphics cards and everything in the PC, I can run mass graphics in here, and this game looks quite nice. I need to reinstall a lot of my mods as well as uh, get the in-car uh, pit view going. But Beam is the most exciting game to play, obviously in third person. So we're gonna go run the other <laughs> the bumper just flopping around. Go run the other line that. I used to love to run on this track that a lot of people still run in the online sessions. And it's quite simply oh, an easy line. No! Did not anticipate that much steering lock. Too much. <laughs> I definitely need to uh, get into uh, understand the steering lock of this car. Uh, let's try this again. Here we go. Put the initiation in. Watch kick it. There we go. Watch kick it that way. Can't break that. Up over. Do the angle. We're gonna go wide like we always do. Come back and cut in the center of this. On the outside, however, you're feeling it. Oh, we rotated. And then you would float that back that way. So overall, not too bad. I'm actually kind of uh, impressed with how this 180 is handling. I feel like we're already overheating the car, though. You see, uh, our coolant temperature getting a little bit hot <laughs> in this car. It's probably gonna blow up the car very soon. We lost our bumper. Oh yeah, we're gonna end up probably blowing the car up. Cooling, overheating. Insure the manifold. Oh, no. Oh, those tires. Oh, we broke something in the front. I feel like we're just going to go until this car blows up. I really need to find out the mod to get the drivers in here. If you guys know what mod there is to get the driver, there's my bumper. This car feels super nice. Ooh. Except for when you're in the grass. You can go until this thing blows up. I feel like drifting in B to get piston rings damage. Oh yeah. I'm losing power. 
feel like Beam NG has gotten so much better with drifting now. And I just think we need to figure out how to get the session, online session to work much better in this game. will be come so, so much better. Oh, we have no power. We're trying to... Trying to do this with absolutely no power. We got fried piston rings, it said. Connecting around bearing damage. We're losing so much power. Yep. I don't think we're gonna be able to even continue. Oh, engine lock. <laughs> I think the engine just decided it wanted to pop. Yep, nope. <laughs> we do not have any ignition. So let's take a look. There's a couple other variations of this car that I have on here right now. We do have the drift, and then we have a rally, a track, a drift missile, and a street drift. So I feel like we're just going to bring out... I do love a Salady. So we're going to bring out the Salady. We're just going to put drift suspension in. All oh, this thing's going to be bouncy. We're going to make sure we have... Drift steering in this car. Front suspension. Steering. We don't want race steering. We want drift steering. Alright. Now we're going to give this Salady a try. Oh man, this thing. Really high gear ratio. Some nice dish wheels. Oh, not a lot of traction though with these stress tires. So if you guys want to keep seeing Beam Minji here on the channel, let me know down in the comments. This is actually quite fun to be back here in Beam. Need to find a bunch more drift mods. We find some online sessions. So try to float this one out. That looked nice. This car really likes clutch kicks. Yup. All the clutch kicks! So, like I said, if you guys have some good drift mods or anything, let me know down in the comments. Send me a direct message on Instagram on where I can get them. I'm gonna try and wall tap this. No, let's be. Oh, little wall tap. Oh. Um. Well. I wonder how bad off this car. Oof. Oh, that back wheel's really bent. Oh yeah. This is not don't worry. This car is. Old. <laughs> so we can grab another car. I'm not sure. We don't have any other drift cars on here because this S13 is not working. I'm not sure and why this one doesn't work either. That's my M2, I believe. I believe all these are missing because I think I accidentally deleted all those when I had to redo my mods. Yeah. That was the M5. So we're just going to go back into the 180 right now, or 240, and we'll pull out... We'll pull out the eBay special. Uh, we'll pull out the Street Drift version of it. And we're going to go just full send, try and get a good, decent wall tap. This guy's got way more power. Already overheating? Or, or synchronized. Synchro damage. Gotta make sure I hit the clutch fully. That's a lot less compared. I'll see if I know why my parking brake icon seems to always be on. Super nice. We gotta try and get that wall tap though. Oh, 
kind of tune the braking a little bit to make sure get a little bit better brake bias in this. And for something I haven't really messed with in BMNG, but now I think I need to so I can do a lot more left foot braking. We're gonna go see if we can't get that good wall tap. Try and get nope. That is not a good wall tap. <laughs> oh man. That was a bad wall tap. So I think that'll do it here for this episode here on Beam NG. Like I said, if you guys want to keep seeing more, let me know down in the comment section down below. As always, appreciate you guys coming back for another episode. I'm Evil Rabbit. All this, yep, I think it's got totals. I'll see you guys on the track. <laughs>